Well, hello, YouTubers. Hello, Facebook people. Hello, Twitter people. And hello, LinkedIn people. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with all of you. Well, the letters have been coming in like crazy, and we're going to get to all those in just a moment. But I want to say thank you to all of you who have been coming out to see my recent videos. My recent video, which was about the mystical gemstone rose quartz, was the one right before this one. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyways, we're going to get into the letters today. But before we do that, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay, I hear Fletcher back here. He says hello. All right, our first letter tonight is from Nani Love. And she says, I want to understand what a twin flame is. I've heard of soulmates, but what is a twin flame? Does everyone have one, and who is mine? Okay, well, Nani, let me explain it this way. Um, you know, when we talk about soulmates and twin flames, a twin flame is somebody that you knew before you came to Earth. It's somebody from the spirit world. And you guys have kind of, in a sense, blended your energies together. And a twin flame is almost like literally a twin carbon of you on a soul level. Now, twin flames aren't always a romantic connection, but there is a sense of being separated. And it can be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. For example, you could have a brother uh, who's a twin flame. It's not romantic, but it's your brother, and you have such a connection. You've known each other from spirit. You come into incarnation. So twin flames aren't always romance. Does everybody have a twin flame? No, not actually not. Because some people um, choose to experience twin flame in order to uh, have some help on their journey. You'll find that a lot of people who become twin flames do so because they're taking on a very challenging chart, and a twin flame gives them the power to do that. Okay, so. You know, do you have a twin flame? Right now I'm not picking one up around you. doesn't mean you don't. It just means I'm not getting it today. But, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to have a twin flame to have a great life and a good incarnation, okay? So anyways, the answer, I hope that answers it. Yes, uh, they do exist. They are an example. They're an expression of your own soul, like a magnified force. It's reflective. Twin flames are drawn to each other. And... Um, there, but they don't always incarnate at the same time either. Sometimes a twin flame will stay in spirit and guide you from spirit. So it can be either way. There's no one answer to that. But I hope that gives you a little insight. Thanks for writing. All right, going in our hat here. Our next letter is from J-A-I-A. 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 And they want to know if they're going to get engaged this year, married, uh, you know, with who, and there's going to be children coming. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I, well, I've got to tell you, I do see an engagement um, are coming for me, but I don't see it to early next year. It's about a year out in January 2014, uh, and it looks like there will be a marriage around May of 2014. So you get a little more in a year, um, you know, about a year out till engagement, then another half a year roughly till till uh, the wedding. But I do see you going forward. And the person that you're with, I do feel is going to be the one that you're with uh, continually and through that time. And I do feel there will be two children in the future. Um, the first child will be born, or you'll be pregnant with the first child at the end of 2014, okay? And the second child will come in 2015. So they'll be close together. And so right in. Okay. Jamila Queen, hi. She writes and says, she says, in my head I hear white noise, uh, and it's changing to a whistle sound, and wants to know kind of what that's about. Yeah. What's going on is the spear people are raising your power, your vibration, so that you can tune in closer to spiritual connections. Um, this actually, some of this is actually strange to sound, be sounding. It's generated by your son. I believe you have a child, um, and this child has some psychic ability, and he's reaching out to you and using his own mental power to connect to you. So he's generating some of that sound. And the spirit people are allowing that to occur so that you get used to connecting spiritually with them as well as with your son. All right. Thanks for writing. All right. Our next letter is from... 
Tracy Connor, and um, she wants to know about retirement and uh, when am I going to retire and will I move? You know, um, I see about two more years around this. I'm not going to retire for about two years, but I do get a move for you. And interestingly, I keep seeing a connection with the western part of the United States. Um, I want to place this around Oregon. So I do feel you'll have an opportunity to look at going. There could be an issue about investment in some land or property. But in about two years, it looks like that retirement issue really does come into uh, full expression. Thanks for writing. Okay, our next letter is Carol Lee. Uh, she wants to know what's going to happen in court with her daughter uh, and the children. And, yeah. Well, you know, um, I do get court coming here in the next, like, two to three months, and I feel that there will be discussion of the children returning to your daughter. Uh, I pick up around the situation, and everybody that's been involved with it has been going through a growing phase. And I feel like all the people that were in the previous kind of go-around are starting to kind of wake up and realize that the hostility is not getting anywhere. I see more productive outcome, and I do feel your daughter will be reunited with her children, and I keep an eye out probably around um, April or May. Okay, thanks for waiting. All right, uh, let's see, Christine, Christ, Christina Donahue, Christine, Christina, I can't read my writing here, Donahue, uh, it says, uh, she wants to know about our current relationship, the future of it, uh, what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. You know, um, I get around this, actually. I do feel like there's a lot of growth here for you. And um, I keep picking up, um, it won't be till next year, but around in March, I feel like you two are going into a place of really having children. So. I believe by next March, in about a year, you will be with child. Um, and I do see this relationship going forward. I feel like, interestingly, um, you know, your partner has been going, doing a lot of self-growth. And I feel like you're doing a lot of self-growth. And the good thing is both of you are coming into harmony now. So this is going to really move forward. And children will be part of it. But it won't be until 2014. Thanks for writing. All right. Our next letter is from Raina L. Raina says that she lost a driver's license, or he, Raina, is that male, female, I don't know. Anyways, Raina uh, said they lost a driver's license, wants to know where it is. Yeah. Um, I get this, it's actually very close to a drawer. I keep seeing you sitting in an area, it's like a desk or a table, but it has a drawer in it. I feel like maybe a telephone right there. And I feel like this literally fell inside of a drawer area here. Uh, I feel like this is actually in your home. I almost want to call it either a second bedroom or a den area, but that's where I'm getting this, okay? So good luck. Let me know how it turns out. All right, our next letter is from Brandy Rocks. And this is nice. Brandy said that I did a reading for her. Uh, and I told her that in January she'd be moving to Vegas in one of my predictions. And she said it's come true, and she's very excited and wanted to tell me thank you. Brandy, that's so nice. Thank you for writing. Well, I'm so happy. I did see you going there, and I'll tell you, I see success now that you're there. So you're right on chart with your, on chart with your chart. So just keep going. This is going to be a good year for you. Watch around June. It looks like an increase in money. Thanks for writing. All right. Uh, driving with T wants to know about what's happening for them in 2013. Yeah. Well, you know, um, this is actually going to be this is going to be a good year for you. Uh, I'm getting around you also. When I get in the summer months, June, July, I feel there could be an issue around a transition in a job area. I do get more money in the summer here for you. And I'm also getting an issue around a move. And I feel like you may actually do a physical relocation or a housing change. Um, this is really going to be about, um, you know, you getting on track and getting prosperity. I want you to remember the terms of Boston, Boston, Virginia. Uh, I keep feeling like there's a home in that area that will be drawing you to it. 
Okay, so it'll be a little later in the summer. Thanks for writing. All right, our next letter is from New Karma Zach. Hi, that's a great name. New Karma Zach wants to know, is it possible to have God as your spirit guide? That's a good question. Well, you know what I say to that, Zach? Yes, God can be your spirit guide. And the reason I say that is the divine God or goddess, however you call it, is the ultimate spirit, really. And all of us come from that spirit. So we're actually innately connected. And some people say to me, you know, Bob, I don't get into spirit guides. I want to talk, I want to talk straight to God. And you know, I say to that, I always say, of course, you can talk to me. So God can be your spirit guide. And if that's how you're comfortable, then you got to keep that conversation going, okay? Thanks for writing. <laughs> All right. Our next letter is Gaia Tralala. Wants to know a little bit about their past life and what's going on in their current life. Yeah. Well, you know, um, you actually have a connection. This is really fascinating because you have some sort of connection with King Arthur back in the ancient um, British Isles in the uh, early medieval times. You are connected to King Arthur. I believe you're a member of the court. You were a female in that life. Um, you were a countess, actually. So you have some link there. And what's interesting is in this life, I feel that you're bringing over um, a lot of gifts of power and the ability to influence people. Now, in this life, I pick up an artist theme around you on your chart. And I feel like I want you to be open to focusing in the area of the arts, particularly performing arts. I think you have a gift in music, gift in singing, visual arts, very creative energy. But um, anyway, so that's, yeah, you're currently, like you have an artist theme, and I feel if you focus on that, that's where you'll have the most success. Uh, but I do also see travel to Britain for you, and you will go back to see Stonehenge and some of the ancient Arthurian sites. Uh, later in the year, probably in the uh, late summer. All right, good luck. Thanks for writing. All right, our next letter is from Brandon Elthridge. And Brandon writes and says, Thank you, Bob. I was in Mexico when the Mayan calendar ended. So since that time, they've been having really interesting experiences, a lot of dreams, mystical things, angelic presences. Yeah, let's know what's going on there. Well, first of all, Brandon, let me tell you, um, I think that's wonderful, actually. I think it's wonderful that you got to be in Mexico during that time. What happened at the, the whole shift of the Mayan calendar? Well, as you know, a lot of people are writing and say, Psyche Bob, is it the end of the world? And I said, no, it is not the end of the world. But what is happening is there was a shift vibrationally on the planet, and people's consciousness got a chance to evolve more rapidly. So for people doing spiritual work, spiritual life, the, the uh, transition time on December 21st was about opening to more power. And you and your girlfriend were open to more power. So I'm not surprised you're having more mystical dreams and sense of angelic presences. This is actually a good thing because that means you are now making progress on your spiritual chart. So this is a very good year. Uh, for those of you who say, well, gee, Bob, I didn't get anything happen, you know. Well, this is the time then to begin. The power is present in the world for those who want to take it to develop themselves. So you see a lot of people were putting fear into that time when really they should have put self-motivation, self-awareness. And it's not too late to do that, okay. 2013 is all about involving Involving spiritually. So keep going. All right. Our next letter here is from Rajesh Gir. And what's to know if I know about Sri Sri Ananda Murtiji? Actually, I have heard of this master. Um, Sri Sri Ananda Murtiji is an ascended master. Um, they have crossed the spirit. And interestingly, I've received messages that they have a connection also with Satya Sai Baba, and they are working together to raise the consciousness of the world. So, yes, and you know, I feel like you have a connection with this master, with Sri Sri Ananda Murtiji. Uh, and I get, as we go through the coming months, a dream activity with you and a connection there. So, uh, I want you to pay close attention to your dreams. 
Yeah. You also ask a bit about your mother here. Uh, yeah, I get your mother has having crossed. She is in the spirit world. Um, Fletch is back here. He's, he's whispering. He, goes, he says, and he said, she's back here and she's all happy and excited. Um, your mother did make it over. And there was an issue here around stomach uh, problem with her at the time of her crossing. Um, and your mother keeps saying, she said, ain't got no problems, no problems in the stomach. So she's really doing very well. And you'll be getting messages from her as well through the dream. She's been coming around, but you keep watching in the next few months. You'll actually see her and have a face-to-face -face spiritual link with her through her dream. But she's fine, her stomach is healed, and she's in the light. Okay, thanks for writing. Well, guys, that's all I'm going to get to. Listen, thanks for being here at Spirit Channel. Keep it here. We're going to have more videos coming up. Uh, you guys have been saying, Bob, we want to learn this and this and this and this, and I'm trying to get it all in. So our next video coming up is going to be about the UFOs. We're going to do something on some aliens. Um, we're going to talk about the Hathors. <sighs> Who's the Hathors? You say, well, tune in here. We're going to have a video coming up on, uh, I think we'll do it on probably on Saturday this week. Uh, but Saturday we'll have a video on the half door, so you don't want to miss that. So be here at Spirit Channel. Well, guys, thanks for being here. Sending blessings to all of you. And, of course, you know next week we'll have another Messages from the Spirit World.